Would you like to mine on the unminable pool using both your CPU and GPU at the same time? Or maybe you're just having issues with the unminable app. Well, today I'm going to be showing you how you can create batch scripts in order to be able to run both your CPU and GPU at the same time mining on the unminable pool. And this will also help to determine any issues that you might have with your hardware. Stay tuned. So I'm going to be as detailed as possible, so hopefully this will help you out on your systems as well and you'll be able to do this easily. So basically the first thing you're going to want to do is create a wallet, download a wallet, go to an exchange and get your accounts open and create your wallets. There you will have the address for your wallet because you're going to need that in the script obviously for the coins that you're going to be mining on Unminable. When you've got your wallet, open up the Unminable website and then the first thing you want to do is select whatever coin you want to mine. If you're going to mine, for example, let's say AAVE, I'm going to click AAVE. Now here on Unminable, you've got a couple of options of what to mine on. So if you want to mine on your GPU, you've got three algorithms to choose from. ET hash, ETC hash and cow pow. Now, you're going to ask yourself, which one am I going to choose? It all depends on your hardware. So if you have a GPU that's capable of running ET hash and has more than six gigabytes of VRAM and is a quite recent card, then you can run ET hash, which is the current most profitable algorithm at the time of this video. If you have an older card, maybe with less VRAM, maybe with three gigabytes above, then you can mine on ETC hash. If you have maybe another card, you can mine with Cow Pow. You just have to give these a try. That's just going to change which algorithm you're mining. You're gonna still be paid out in the coin you've selected at the top here. It's just going to be either more profitable or less profitable depending on your hardware. If you would like to just mine on your CPU, you have the random X option as well. Now, here in the site, everything is detailed. You have step one, download any random X compatible mining software. I use XMRig as well. So what you want to do is you want to go to GitHub. For example, I've opened mine up here already. And the latest one is 6.12.1. Just go down. And if you're on Windows, you're going to choose MSVC Win64 and download that zip file. If you have a Mac, you can also mine on your Mac on your CPU and you would choose one of these options here. And if you have Linux, you can choose one of the Linux options here and download that as well. The important thing is that you whitelist and exclude your downloads folder from your antivirus because it will block and delete the file if you attempt to download it without having whitelisted the file. You can briefly check out my video in the description above or in the link below and I will briefly explain how you can add whitelists and exclusions so that you can download these miners without them being deleted from your system. Once you have downloaded a miner, this is for a CPU. For example, if you're going to mine on a GPU, I would select the GPU. You've got an option. You can choose a compatible mining software. It doesn't have to be LOL miner. It can be Phoenix miner. It can be T-Rex. For example, if I go to ETC hash, it's going to give me the command line for T-Rex. Now, obviously, if you're going to use T-Rex and you're going to choose ET hash, it's going to give you the line of code for LOL miner. So you have to check the code for the appropriate miner that you're downloading. The important thing is that once you've downloaded the miner and you've created all the whitelists, you're going to go to your mining folder. Now, for example, I'm going to go back here and this is where I have all my miners. I like to use for my GPU T-Rex miner. That's just a personal choice. It's not because it's better or worse than, for example, Phoenix. Phoenix has a lower dev fee, but T-Rex miner has a slightly higher hash rate in my experience, but the dev fee is also slightly higher. So at the end of the day, it's still going to give you the same payout. So which miner you choose, as long as it's compatible with the algorithm, will work just fine. The very important thing is that once you've downloaded the miner and you've extracted the miner because it is going to be downloaded as a zip file. So need, 
you need to extract the contents and extract them and you'll have something that looks like this for example for t-rex now for t-rex what you need to do and for any other miner you need to get the executable right click it go to properties go to the compatibility tab and tick run this program as administrator that way you won't have to right click it every time and say run as administrator i'm just going to apply the changes there and hit ok so that way the miner is set to run as an administrator and it will be given all the privileges required in order to run properly now on the system i am currently using i cannot run my gpu to mine because my GPU is an old GTX 670, but I will try to run it just to show you what will happen. Once you've created the miner, you want to do right click. I'm gonna do it up here, so maybe you can see it better. And I'm going to say new and text document. So you're gonna create a normal text document, and I'm gonna call this test unminable. What you're gonna do then is you're going to make sure that you have your file extensions showing if you don't have your file extensions showing here you need to go to view and you need to turn on fi file name extensions and make sure that this is ticked otherwise you see the dot txt it disappeared so make sure this is on then what you're going to do is going to right click and you're going to rename the file and you're going to rename it, remove the .txt and do .bat and click enter and hit yes, okay? And that's going to create an empty batch script. You can populate the text file and then rename it after, it's not gonna make a difference. If I right click the batch file and do edit, I have my empty batch script here. Now, I am going to use T-Rex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to unminable you would have already selected the coin you want to get paid out in. Now, if you have capable hardware, you would use ET hash. I don't. I'm going to go and try, for example, CalPal, because I have a video card that does have four gigabytes and not six gigabytes, the GTX 670. But I know it's an older card and probably it's not going to work because the miner, the T-Rex in this case, or the Phoenix, because I've tried T-Rex Phoenix, LOL miner on this card, but it it's just not supported. Most of you were having issues when using the app that the hash rate was remaining zero in most cases. And that could be because your hardware is not supported. So you need to check the log for that. And by using scripts like this, you can determine what the issue is because normally it will clearly state your hardware is not supported, for example, or you don't have a driver installed or the device is not detected. At least you'll be able to troubleshoot the problem better. I'm gonna use T-Rex and I'm gonna use CalPal. The code for T-Rex is already here. If you were to mine on ET hash, hash, what I would suggest is copy this code and then you would just put it in your text file like that. But let's say you don't want to mine on KP, which is CalPal, to that network and the CalPal algorithm but you want to mine on ET hash, then you would just change the hash hash algo to ET hash instead of CalPel. So here I would change the hyphen A, which still means uh, hash hash algo. So for LLL miner, it might be dash dash algo. For T-Rex, it might be dash A. It depends on the miner you're using. So make sure you just get the syntax right for that. Okay. Now, here, I would just change it to ET hash, for example, ET hash. And then minus U would be the coin that you're going to mine. Here you would enter your wallet address and dot the name of your worker. After your worker name, you can also do uh, the hash symbol and enter a referral code. If you have one from a friend, I'm going to put mine down below if you'd like to use that you will get a reduction in the fee when mining at the pool and it will go down from 1% to 0.75%. Now I'm gonna show you my script, okay? So my script, which is already done here, I'm not gonna save this. So that's the way you would need to do this and then save it and run it. Now, I've already got scripts here on my desktop. So for example, 
I was mining Dogecoin and I was using the T-Rex miner. Let's say I want to try and mine Dogecoin using the T-Rex miner on my system, which I already know the video card is not supported. But had I used the application Unminable, okay, so I'm just going to quickly open up Unminable, and if you can run that as administrator, that would be the best option, okay? So just run that as administrator. That will start up. Okay, now this is going to start on my CPU. So, for example, I'm going to go to GPU and I'm going to click Next. Now, the important thing here before you click Next is you always need to check your update, your miner location. So I've already selected mine here. So here it's using Phoenix Miner. The version has to be 5.3b or the most recent version there is at the moment, which is 5.5c if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to click Next. I'm going to mine Dogecoin, for example, and my address is in there. So I'm going to try on my GPU. Now, this is the problem that most of you were getting. You were getting zero mega hash. Sometimes this takes time to build up, but I know for, fa for a fact that on mine it's not going to work. At the moment, I'm doing the screen capture, and I don't know if this is going to affect anything. I'm just going to stop that. And I'm going to go to logs here. Next to the gear, you have minor logs you can see what it was trying to do okay because i'm screen capturing at the same time so that might affect as well so it was trying to connect to the pool it was connected to the pool okay but it just doesn't do it it's trying to build the dag file and it doesn't build it up sufficiently i didn't leave it running long enough because it was crashing obviously my screen capture as well here it doesn't really determine what the problem is so if it remains at zero what i suggest is you use scripts like i'm going to do now if i try and run t-rex and i run t-rex on my video card i'm going to start it up i always add a pause at the end of the script so i know what's happening this is important because otherwise the window might just open up and disappear if you have an error so i'm just going to leave the pause i'm just going to run this double click okay the only issue is that can't start minor nvidia geforce gtx 670 is not supported okay so there right off the bat i know immediately that my video card is not supported on t-rex minor for other miners i have tried this and it was not supported as well so that that's the issue right there it's not supported so that helped me determine to know why that was stuck at zero mega hash when I was running it from the app. It's going to be the similar thing for a CPU. You need to download XM Rig to mine on your CPU. You do the same process again. XM Rig is here, 6.1.2. Go down, I'll include all these links below, and I just downloaded the MSVC Win64 version for T-Rex. You can download either for Windows or for Linux, depending on what system you're using. So I've got XM Rig already. I'm using 6.11.2. I haven't upgraded to the latest version just yet. I'm going to go into that folder, XM Rig, right click, properties, compatibility, run this program as administrator. I've already selected that. And then here you would create your batch scripts. And I have those on my desktop right here. Those are a shortcut so I can easily access them if I need to. So it basically it's pointing to the same location where the miner is. So if I edit it, I was mining Wink not long ago, for example, and you have the command here. So it's very easy if you go to the unminable site, again, this time I'm going to select Wink as a coin. I'm going to go to RandomX because I'm going to mine on my CPU. And here you have the command. So if you just copy this, it will be the same as my bat script here. xmrig.exe minus O, which is the pool. Okay, this is the pool you're mining to. I'm mining in Europe, so I decided to do rx-eu. Okay, you can, you can select other servers closest to you. Although from the global server, it will do that automatically and it will find the closest server to your location but you can specify it like I did here. Minus A is the algorithm, which is Rx in this case. Minus K is keep alive, so the connection stays alive. Minus U would be the user wallet, which in this case is going to be win, like it is here in Unminable, and it's going to be 
the coin is win and the address right here. And I've done my worker name dot worker name, which is techoguywink underscore CPU. And at the end here, like it tells you at the bottom down here, after your worker name, you can do hash and a referral code if you have a referral code. Mine is in the link in the description below. If you'd like to use it, go ahead and you'll drop your fee from 1% to 0.75% when mining on the unminable pool. So once you've entered all of that information, then you can run the miner, which I am going to do right now. So everything's entered here. That looks fine. And I'm going to run the miner and I'm going to mine Wink in this case, okay? And there we go, ready, and it's starting to mine right here. Okay, so there you go. That way you can mine using your CPU. Now, if I were to run, obviously on a compatible GPU, on the same system, if I were to run T-Rex, if I had a video card which, is, which was suitable for it, they would run together at the same time. So obviously I can run it, but it's not going to work because my video card is not compatible. Okay, but I do have my mining rig upstairs. It's mining on both the CPU and GPU, and this is the way I'm doing it, and it's mining to the unminable pool on both at the same time. I do hope you found this video useful, and thank you for all of those who have subscribed to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when more videos do come out. YouTube is a great community. Keep the comments flowing. If you have any questions, I will do my best to help you out and hopefully help resolve your problems. Until next time, guys, take good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.